Let's talk about the meta viewport. Now, this is a very important thing to have inside of your website because as you could probably notice, a lot of people actually open websites from mobile devices these days. So you must make sure that your website is actually going to fit very well on every different screen that's out there because you know there are a lot of screens for like the iPhone up till 4S and then the iPhone 5 and then you have the iPhone 6 which is crazy by the way but anyway you know I mean you have a lot of different sizes so your website must fit them all and you must make sure that whenever somebody opens up your website from a mobile device your website is actually going to look very very nice and that's why in content look we actually have this task where we tell you if you have the meta viewport inside of your page or if you do not have it. So you must get it right. And you can follow our tutorial inside of Content Look, for, at, which you'll find at this task, and it's going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get it right. And there's going to be a lot of documentation, even links to like the official pages from Apple that introduce the meta viewport for their devices, and you're going to see. Uh, exactly how to implement. If you can't do this yourself, you can use the send to your teammate button that you see in content look and it will give them the, the explanation, it will give your developer the explanation that he or she needs in order to get this right. Okay, but in this video I'm going to show you why the meta viewport is actually very important and then you can send the documentation to whoever is in charge of this or you can fix it yourself if you are the designer or the developer. Alright, well Right? This is just some really basic and lame, of course, uh, design, <laughs> but let's see. So let's pretend that this would be somebody's website. I know it's horrible, but that's not the point. Let's just assume that this would be a website, and this is how you can see it in the browser. Now, what's the problem here? The problem is that when it's gonna be, you know, placed on a mobile device, so you're gonna have just this tiny screen that you're looking from, you know, the palm of your hand and you're gonna look and you have to scroll all the way so you can see, you, you can drag the right image to your screen and then you have to push it away and then you have to do this again and then you scroll and you do this and that and it's crazy and it's really not a great way to read a website. So if your content is ever displayed like that, you're having a problem and you're missing out on a lot of opportunities. Just go ahead and check your analytics and see how many people actually reach your website through by a mobile device and you'll be astonished by the adoption of mobile devices these days right so you must make sure that the content will be displayed very nice when the user gets your site into the palm of their hands so you must make sure that they can just scroll and that everything will be placed in nicely and that you will not have and that you will not have a scroll bar like that and also And also that you will not have a scroll bar like this, okay, so no scroll bars, you actually must make sure that this whole website that you see here on the desktop is actually going to look nice on a mobile screen. Okay, so this is the mobile screen and you can definitely see that I can't get this part right here, I can't fit it in and I can't fit this part, let's say it also has something here. I will not be able to fit this onto my screen right here because it's gonna it's gonna fall down and you can see this area and the same goes for here okay so that's that's a big problem so you must make sure that you get the meta viewport inside of your website and that you're gonna specify some very clear rules on how scaling is gonna work inside of it and what widths you're going to use and other stuff like that that we present in the article from content look because the idea would be to get your stuff like this so and maybe then just have it like if these are indeed important elements of your website so when I scale this one when I scale this one down it's not gonna provide me with scroll bars when I scale this one down no scroll bars when I scale this one down it's going to show like this so these elements are actually going to be dragged right here okay so this is very important to understand now please read the documentation and make sure that you get a meta viewport inside of your website